Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over Jasper.ai in academic writing. This is going to be a little bit different from a lot of the videos I do, given the fact that most of them are about marketing. However, it's always fun to use software tools for multiple purposes. So even if you're in the marketing, you can see how Jasper works going over a, I guess you could say marketing or social media related topic. If you'd like to follow along or if you just want to test out Jasper, I will leave my link down below. And if you click that, not only can you get a free trial, but many bonus words to follow along with me. Let's begin. So when it comes to academic writing, what I did is just search for some topics. And right here, very quickly on this website came up with a few good ones. And I saw this and I said, Facebook should be banned. Ironically enough, I believe in other areas, like I want to say it's China. I don't think you're allowed to use Facebook. I know my girl went there once. I thought she said it was in that area. So it, there are sections in the world where it is banned, but uh, this would be overall for the US. This is just the one I came up with. So what I want to do is utilize a, a few templates to create this. So what I have right here, I came up with a blog post title, even though it says blog post, like this could be an academic, you know, writing assignment. It doesn't have to be very long, obviously depends on how long it needs to be is going to be up to the uh, teacher or professor. But for this, I put the side effects of using Facebook and why it should possibly be banned. Uh, for an audience, you know, this one will be a little bit interesting. Like, who am I going to be speaking to? I could say like adults, right? Something like that. Or I'd say like teachers, something like that, you know, professionals. Uh, tone of voice is going to be casual. And this is just going to be an introduction paragraph, okay? Aside from that, I'm going to show you the other templates that we're going to be utilizing. This is going to write our intro for us, okay? This is going to uh, create our blog outline so we know what to write about and fill in paragraphs are going to write each of those outline sections. And of course, we have a conclusion, you know, even though it says blog post, once again, we can still use this to write an essay. And here I have a Google Drive document where I can just paste everything in. So let's click on generate and see what we get. I'm going to go with three and generate. Okay, so it's a great way to stay connected. And but did you know, there's some serious side effects? Uh, do you use it? If so, you're not alone. There are 2.07 billion monthly active users on the social media platform. Uh, that one's not bad, but like if you were writing it in today's day, you'd probably want to update that. Uh, there's no doubt it's addictive. It seems like we turn around. There's a news, <laughs> someone's baby, cat. So what's the truth? Should be banned. Here are some pros of using it. I like this one, but this kind of goes into what I'm going to be talking about. So uh, I'm not going to go with that one just because this is going to be more of what we're doing after. So just to kind of keep it simple, I'm going to go with this. Okay. And I'm going to change it around a little. Okay. It says stay tuned for more. Like we don't need to put that in our essay, right? Uh, Facebook is a great way to stay connected with friends and family uh, in this, in this blog post. So today I am going to just a little bit of wordsmithing, discuss the risks associated with Facebook and why it might be a good idea to ban it altogether. Quick little intro. Obviously, you could write more on that if you wanted to, right? Uh, keep in mind, this is all going to be going hand in hand. If you had an idea about how many words you need to write, you're probably going to want a little bit more in the introduction, right? Like this could be good definitely for a blog post intro, depending on the length that it needs to be. But that's obviously going to be customizable to you. So that's going to be our quote unquote blog post intro. Okay, now we have an outline. So all we did is put the same title here. We're going to do casual. I'm just going to keep it casual through all these. And I'm going to do a few more. Let's generate and see what we get. Okay, so it's been linked to depression and anxiety. It's a huge time waster. People spend an average of 50 minutes on the site per day. It's addictive. It's bad for relationships. Uh, it's full of fake news and propaganda. It's a privacy nightmare. Those are all very, very good reasons uh, why you can do that. Some of these look similar. A lot of the same just stated in different ways. I'm going to go with these. I like these. I'm going to post these right here. And give me a second. I'm just going to like make them look a little bit better in terms of the numbers. I'll be right back. Okay, and what I also want to do, just so that Jasper understands it better when I go to create content about this, it says Facebook has been linked to depression and anxiety, okay? So that's actually good because it has Facebook in there. But for example, this one right here, it says it's a huge time waster. People spend an average of 50 minutes on the site per day, okay? I'm going to copy this and show you why you'd want to edit this a little. So imagine I put this in here. Jasper doesn't know, even though it has, I guess, keywords there, even if I took that out. But overall, Jasper doesn't know what I'm really talking about. So what we want to do is make sure we're as specific as possible. This is something I've learned from using a lot of AI generating softwares, Jasper as well. But just put like Facebook 
is a huge time waster. Okay, so now we know it's talking about uh, Facebook and people spend a lot of time on it, probably more than that, uh, maybe less thanks to TikTok. But let's do just change that here just to show you. Okay, so Facebook is addictive. Uh, people are more likely to argue with their parents if their friends are on. Let's just do Facebook is bad for relationships. That could be, you know, part arguing can be part of that. So let's do Facebook is definitely full of fake news and propaganda. And let's just do Facebook can be a privacy nightmare. Okay, and we'll keep it like that. So now we can go through with each of these and let's generate some paragraphs. Let's paste that in there. Let's just do one. Uh, and then if we want to do more, we can continue on and branch on. So this is going to be like the first argument about why it should be banned. Okay, doing it in paragraph form. Let's generate. And so Facebook has been getting traction. Uh, we have seen it grow in popularity, but with the growth, Facebook has reached an interesting crossroads. Recent study has linked Facebook to depression and anxiety in its users. Uh, probably want to look for a study too, if you're doing an essay, right? To like uh, reference that as well. Facebook can provide a great boost in social confidence. Uh, let's see, people we've never met before. However, too much reliance on it could be detrimental to our mental well-being. If used excessively or destructively on certain platforms, through viral networks are important to staying connected. We must remember that Facebook can be a double-edged sword if we don't treat it thoughtfully. Okay, so that's good. I like that. I can just paste that right in there. And just like that, if you wanted to add more to that, you can. You can also change it around. I guess you could say Facebook has been linked to depression and, and anxiety, and it's a good reason for having it banned. Like we can really hammer home on that argument if you want. So let's clear this and do one more and see what we get. Okay. Okay. So this one could be a little similar. Obviously we just added a little bit more, but let's see what we get. Like, as we talked about right here, it should be banned. Like this is when you add this extra step in there or this extra ending to it, obviously we're going to be having a much stronger take on it. Okay. It's woven into our lives, uh, paints a darker picture has been linked to this and this, all this makes for a convincing argument that should be banned as it does more harm than good. So perhaps it's time that we take a step back from Facebook. Actually, what we can do, I'm just going to copy all this. And what I want to do, that last part is really good. So that last sentence right here. Um, there we go. All this makes for a convincing argument that Facebook should be banned. Pretty much exactly what we're talking about. Okay, so. And I'm going to take this away. Let's just see what Jasper has to say if I just do Facebook a huge time waster. Okay, so let's go in here. Let's clear this. And if we need to, we can just write another one. Say like Facebook is a huge time waster. People spend too much time on there and not focusing on others, whatever it's going to be. Let's generate and see what we get. It's so easy to get lost in scrolling endlessly. Facebook has become an integral part of almost all our lives, but it can be dangerous when you don't know how to manage your time on it. Are also in incredibly enticing, further uh, complicating the situation by tempting users to stay logged in longer than they need to. Uh, it's essential that they learn how to use it responsibly. And then it could say something like, and if they can't use it responsibly, then, you know, leaning more towards banning it. Okay. So there's going to be some wordsmithing, you know, wanting to go in there. Like we talked about with the previous one, if you really want to hammer home that point, Facebook is a huge time waster. Uh, people spend way too much time of their lives on it. And that's another big reason as to why it should be banned. Something like that, like I said, let's really hammer home that ban effect. So let's click on generate. <clears throat> okay, so as we talked about before, it's integral, yet people are scrolling where everything is done virtually. Uh, if Facebook continues like this, it could soon become a menace, which is why many people believe it should be completely banned. Okay, so this is depending on how you're really angling into the topic. As we talked about with the title, what was the title? It was the side effects of using Facebook and why it should possibly be banned. Okay, so with that title, it's kind of like, yeah, it could be, it could not be. But if you're like, it should be banned, everything you're going to be talking about, like, this is bad, we got to stop it, it should be banned. So make sure you're congruent with that when you're doing that. So uh, this is kind of like taking both sides of it. And I'm going to paste this in there again. And that ending was great once again. So here we go. 
I wish I had Jasper when I was in college, okay, or high school or whatever. It's been so long since I've written an essay. I really can't even remember the last time I wrote an essay, but I can assure you I did not have AI for it. But I'm just going to go to the end, okay? So this is what you'd be doing with all the paragraph sections. And if you wanted to write more, what you can do is branch off of it. You could talk about how it's a time waster in general, and then you can kind of go into the paragraph section right here and talk about how it's a time waster specifically because people are doing it everywhere they're going and they're missing out on the real world. Like if you've ever seen, there's there's so many memes and pictures of like kids walking home from school and like all of them look like zombies because they're all, they have their necks looking down, you know, walking in a straight line. Like literally no one is looking up and enjoying the view and the birds, whatever. But uh, just kind of an example of that, how you can really dig into specific aspects of each section and then make more paragraphs out of it, but let's go to the quote unquote blog post conclusion for this academic writing piece. Okay. So we have our title in there. I'm not going to put a call to action. Those are great. If you're using a blog post, like leave a comment down below. That's not something you want to put in an essay. Okay. Just letting you know right now, let's just do two. Let's generate and see what we get. I don't think we need a call to action. We'll find out. Okay, so I'm going to look at the second one. As you can see, Facebook use comes with a lot of risks. With over 2 billion active users, it's hard to deny that the site has profound impact on our world. But at what cost? The side effects of using Facebook are becoming more and more apparent, and it's time we start having a serious conversation about them. If we don't, who knows how much damage Facebook will do? That is a... That's dark. That's grim. And I like it. <laughs> okay, that That goes hand in hand with like everything we're talking about, where it kind of like... Puts the thought like the balls back in the the reader's court where like you've got all this information, you've got research and it's like eventually, you know, how long is this going to go on? You know, more people need to know about it and so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, that is an example of using Jasper.ai to have academic writing done. OK, uh, obviously, this is going to be the same process going through. This is usually like what I like doing with tutorials. As long as you know how to do each paragraph section, you'll be able to probably figure out the rest of it on your own. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I am going to be doing another video when it comes to writing a Jasper essay where I'll probably go a little bit deeper into it, write a little bit more, and just choose a different topic because I think it's fun to do in the first place. If you want to test out Jasper, don't forget that the link down below will get you a free trial with, I think, 10,000 bonus words. So you can write a lot of academic writing pieces and essays and all that other fun stuff. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.